Hello friends, you must admit that in the modern world, clothes, accessories are considered as the main attribute in a communication and self-expression. And most importantly, cosmetics is what most girls are passionate about right now. All of us are girls, and so we're passionately trying to follow fashion. At first, we're just interested in and following the news from the world of fashion, and sometimes we ourselves didn't notice how it smoothly flows, so to speak, into a little dependence. I want to share with you a story from the life of my younger sister. I must say right away that I'm not an opponent of the fashion world. But I just want to tell that you shouldn't be abused by modern trends so that it won't turn into that addiction. Here's an example. My sister's name is Bella and she's only 18 years old. Could you imagine that her excessive love for cosmetic brands almost ruined her perfect face? It all started when more and more videos from the beauty bloggers appeared on the web. Well, you probably know these are the people who test and tell everything about different cosmetics. She was just 16 when she enthusiastically began to watch these videos and tried to keep up with fashion trends. At first, Bella just watched them and followed famous models. However, after that, she slowly began to buy all cosmetics from the shelves of the branded stores despite the fact that she didn't even need those. She could change her makeup several times during one day. Yes. I also thought it was crazy. And of course, I tried to explain that everything was perfect with her and using so much makeup would just ruin her young skin. But she didn't even want it to listen to me. The reason was that the pursuit of fashion literally clouded her mind, as it is the case with most of the young girls. Just imagine, there was no more space left in our closet. All of the shelves and boxes were just filled with Bella's cosmetics and she was kept buying them. Oof, how it pissed me off. She spent all her pocket money that parents gave her. At first, I thought it would pass quickly, but days, months went by and cabinet and boxes were still filled with unnecessary makeup. It was so strange that I didn't even know how to react to that. Of course, I tried to stop her for several times, but she didn't even listen to me. Turning point occurred when Bella bought another set of cosmetics from a well-known brand. I asked her how she got so much money for the branded cosmetics because at current prices it should have cost a lot. She replied that she had just stumbled upon one store that sells all cosmetics at an incredible discount. Actually, it bored me a little. Well, seriously, where have you seen such high-quality products sold for penny? Well, this happiness didn't last long. A monthly usage of this promotional, so to speak, makeup, Bella's skin started to deteriorate. Acne and dry skin was a result. She calmed herself as she could, but instead of stopping and giving her skin a rest, she began to smear and smear it with other creams. Your skin reacted to that very badly. And when a severe allergy started, only then she started to worry. Why it happens to me? What did I do wrong? She grumbled. For around a month, Bella and I went to different cosmetologists and tried to cure her face. It took us a lot of time to improve her skin condition. She was very nervous because of this and was terribly depressed. Well, what else did she expect? It, it was her fault. After she was cured, she realized that she was obsessed and finally threw away all harmful and unnecessary cosmetics. Over time, Bella began to use cosmetics at minimum. I think that now my sister realized that natural beauty will never go out of style. But do you think her obsession went so easily? Yes, she got rid of addiction to cosmetics, but now shopping has come to replace it. Dear friends, write in the comments, have you ever had such cases with addiction or any kinds of obsession with something? And please share with us what brought you back to consciousness.